Hi guys, Dean on Underman here from MigratiPhone.com and we've got an App Store application for you today called Voice Assistant. Now Voice Assistant is available from the App Store like I said for just 69 pence here in the UK or just 99 cents if you live in the US. Now you may be thinking this is trying to be Siri but it's not at all. It does several other things that Siri doesn't do and it is especially good for devices that aren't compatible with Siri such as your iPhone 4, your iPod Touches, your iPhone 3GS and even the first generation and second generation iPads. So there are a number of settings here in Voice Assistant. If we just click on the togs at the top it brings up the settings menu. Now this application supports over 22 different languages. So if we just have a brief look you can choose from Cantonese, Chinese, Danish, Dutch, several English languages, French, German, French Canadian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Mandarin Chinese, Norwegian, Polish, Portuguese, Portuguese Brazil, Russian, Spanish, Spanish Mexico, Swedish and Taiwanese Mandarin. So pretty much most languages are available in there. Now there's also a setting to log out of all the services and that's because this application integrates with things like Dropbox, Twitter and Facebook. There's an on and off toggle to detect when you finish speaking to voice assistant. There's also a beep that will beep when you've finished or when you start speaking to it. And then there's a contact us, help and the version number. Now if we just pop into help you'll be able to see right at the bottom that voice assistant has Nuance technology built into it. And that's the same speech detection and speech dictation that is built into Siri so you know straight away that this application is going to perform really well. So let's go straight into the application. Now if I just press this button here it will start listening to my voice and hearing what I'm saying. Hello YouTube, comma. how are you all today? Full stop. And you can see that it's not picking up the word YouTube and I have that problem with Siri as well. That's probably my English accent. But overall it got everything else right. Now I can do several things with this piece of text. I can edit it from the keyboard as you can see. Or if I press done, I can open it with iFile or Dropbox. iFile is obviously a jailbroken application. I can send it straight in an SMS or iMessage and it will open up your preferred messaging application. I can email it and it will paste that piece of text straight into an email. I can send it over a twi tweet and that integrates with the iOS Twitter functionality. I can update my Facebook straight from here if I just press Facebook right away and it will update my status in the background or I can copy it and use it in any other application that I like. So as you can see Voice Assistant isn't actually trying to be Siri. It's just taking your voice and it's allowing you to update your social media content content or even write emails or SMS's. So like I said this application is really really good if you have a device that isn't running Siri and even if you are running Siri you can update your social media straight from this with minimal button touches. So this has been our review of Voice Assistant. Like I said it is available in the App Store for just 69 pence or 99 cents if you live in the USA. Really really nice UI to this application, really simple to use and it's great that it supports all those languages. Definitely worth a purchase. So thanks very much for watching. Please remember to click that thumbs up button and also the share button down below and if you're interested in more of our videos please click that subscribe button as well. So once again, thanks for watching and we will catch you real soon.